What's up, guys? This is James at Locking the Value and Copy My Crypto.com telling you today about the wonderful world of crypto. Spreadsheet is always updated. Phantom, uh, still sort of holding steady. Zilliqa, always doing pretty well at the moment. Zilliqa. Um, and interestingly, NKN, huge run. Now, part of the reason I do this with the spreadsheet is because actually this is what people should be doing in terms of tracking your portfolio now this isn't my portfolio anymore i've held all of these i've sold them you know i've got a couple in there but most of them sold at profit and then that money was put into other cryptos that i was set to make big bigger profits and that's what i've done and that's what i do on copy my crypto so if you if you're sitting on a bag and you're holding and you're just waiting for the high this is not the way to invest okay what the way you've got to look at these markets is amazing I've made a 40x or amazing I've made a 10x can this run much more like can it double from the point that you've made a 10x if it can good are there better options um, so on copy my crypt I share my portfolio i show what i'm doing and then i also show when i'm getting out of a position and i give the justifications for why i always give the justifications for why i'm getting into a new position now the last three positions like the last three trades i've made have been really profitable the first uh one that people saw like two weeks ago that coin is 2.5 times more valuable than it was in two weeks uh there was one about a week ago. That's that's again about two point five times more valuable than it was a week ago, and then there's one a few days ago, but that's already up about thirty and thirty plus percent, right? Um, and the reason I can do that is because I sit most days and just sit and drink cans of Monster and read white papers and markets. Um, but I also man like I'm actively managing my portfolio to make sure I make the best judgments on any of these projects and you're not going to get them all right all the time but you better believe i get them right far more than i get them wrong ever and if you check out copy my crypto you'll see that in fact the people that are members can attest to that the last three weeks have been very very good this third coin that's up about 30 percent in a few days is going to do massive business and i'm really looking forward to it um and if you don't get in, you're sort of missing the opportunity to really compound your money. You know, build your gains, add to them. Then you've got more to reinvest into stronger projects or projects that are going to have bigger runs. You know, that's what a portfolio is meant to be. That's why I do this. Um, so, yeah. So, check out it. The link is in the description. All right. Uh, so, I want to talk about XRP. XRPPP. So, Right, Ripple is currently sort of dealing with a bit of a pullback. Everyone sort of knows the situation. Oh, excuse me, run out of monster. Right, everyone sort of knows the situation with Ripple. So we've got um, an SEC filing um, that really stagnated its growth because it was having pretty good growth, like in a very short space of time then all of a sudden the news came about that the sec have filed against ripple uh believing that they're manipulating the market which i don't think came as news to anyone in the crypto space to be honest none of us are sitting here going that's legit you know um and since then the price has sort of stagnated you know had a huge crash the moment they said it moment the SEC filed and now we're at an interesting point so um, XRP current price is 61 basically 62 cents um, XRP looked like it could have a good year legitimately it did like regardless of what you think about the tech and the centralization of the project you know it's against what I believe in in terms of crypto However, I expected it would do a run. You know, it's actually in the spreadsheet, and it did do a run, and then it had a pullback. Um, I'm not in XRP anymore. Um, 
And I wouldn't want to be. Fundamentally, I wouldn't want to be. Listen, there's two ways this goes. And it is this simple, right? It's either the SEC, they, the, uh, Ripple lose the lawsuit with the SEC or Ripple win. Um, the problem is it drags on for a year or two. And given that XR, like Ripple have handed over millions of documents to the SEC, it's well within the bounds of reality that we're going to see this last a year or two. Um, and you want a firm and hard resolution either way, you know. Um, obviously, people that are holding RIP XRP don't want <laughs> they want XR Ripple to win. But um, but it's it's a sort of it's, a, it's an interesting situation. So um, technically, XLP is now worth more today than before the SEC lawsuit. So it has actually recovered. Um, and there's been interesting movement within Ripple, or not within Ripple, within XRP. So there's been huge trading volume starting to move around in XRP lately. Uh, between Bitcoin, uh, Binance and Bitcoin. Uh, excuse me, about $125 million worth moved around. Um, hell of an amount. Hell of an amount. Now, what is interesting, I mean, this is an article from today, yesterday. Um, but we know this story has been, been circulating for a little bit. Coinbase relisting. Um, Coinbase has spent trading on XRP, but you can still withdraw it, right? You can still store it and withdraw it on, on Coinbase. Um, but it's potentially uh, on the horizon that uh, Coinbase is going to relist it for trading. Now, if Coinbase relist it on trading, I wouldn't be surprised to see Binance and other um, other exchanges start listing it as tradable, a, a tradable asset. Um, if that happens, it runs. You know, might hit two, three dollars in this current market uh, at the peak. Um, however, my honest thing on this is. It's a gamble. Fundamentally, it's a gamble. Like, you want to get into XRP, and you can say you believe in it, and, you know, it's, you, you can either say you believe in it or you hate it, or whatever your opinion of it is, is irrelevant in terms of it as an entity, as a coin, or Ripple as an entity. It's a gamble because either, if the SEC filing finds them guilty there could be mass like the, the ramifications could be quite severe right it would also mean in all likelihood that they would be removed as a tradable asset on every exchange presently um however if they do a slap on the wrist like coinbase we see what happens um or they win the tech in XRP isn't all that. It never has been. Um, it's centralized, so it's sort of not true to what we want from crypto, you know, which is a decentralized asset. Like, that's what you want. Um, so, I don't know. I, on my, on my honest thing is, is a gamble. Why? Why gamble? Why gamble? There are apparently 9,000 cryptocurrencies now. 9,000, right? You look at the top 100, almost any of them, Bob, like, well, almost any of them are going to outperform XRP. You know, not Tether, right? Not USDC, but like, almost any project is going to end up, like, any crypto is going to end up outperforming XRP in this world. Oh, excuse me. And they'll. Told you, I need the monster. And there's, and 
almost all those projects have no inherent risk in the same way that XR, they all have inherent risk because they're an investment, right? They could go tits up. But XRP has legitimate concerns as a uh, from a from an entity perspective with Ripple. They've been playing with the market. That's concerning. Yeah, remember how pissed off we all were with Robin Hood, well, in the GameStop situation. You know, there's it's pretty pretty likely that Ripple have been doing this for like <laughs> for a while. So I don't really want to participate in a crypto that's that manipulated and like i said it's a gamble we're investors we're not here to gamble we're here to make money with in the best possible way with the maximized profit and the lowest risk and xrp certainly doesn't have the lowest risk and it certainly won't maximize profit so if you're in it why it's an honest question. Why? Um, anyone that's in it, tell me in the comments. I know XRP have a lot of fans. I'm not being an arsehole here. I'm asking legitimate questions about why would anyone be in this? Because the upside is so much less than any other, than almost any of the top 100 right now. And the downside is far greater than any of the top 100 right now. So why is anyone in it? I don't get it. I don't get it. There's it is bizarre to me. Um and I was in it like uh I don't know, April last year maybe, maybe. And I was in it for about a month and a half, two months, bought in, sold. Um and then the SEC filing happened. Like on the day it dipped to about 21, 22. I think I bought in at about 24, 25. Flipped it again at about 30, 32. Just a quick turnaround, right? But this is not a long-term investment. There's better out there. Don't don't waste your time. Or you, and that's it. It's time wasting. There's so many projects that are going to double in a week. And you're going to be sitting on a bag of XRP that doesn't move for months. Um... And if you want to see coins that double, check out Copy My Crypto. We've done it. We've done it twice in the last three weeks. Um, and yeah, if you want to check that out, link is in the description. Check it out. People that are members have done very well off of the last three coins. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's just really me just sort of thinking aloud, guys. Thinking aloud. Sort of got going a bit stir crazy without uh, energy drink. So, yeah. um, <laughs> this is the last you see from me for a couple of days. It's uh, Easter, so fun. spending time with the family. Hope you guys are all good. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. Bye bye.